Welcome in to the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel. I am your host, Blair Angulo, here for another live announcement commitment. One of the top players across the West region, Davis Andrews, is set to reveal his choice. He is down to four schools. He is down to BYU, Notre Dame, Utah, and UCLA has taken his official visits and is ready to make his commitment. Let's head out to the Beehive State to check in with the number five player in the state of Utah, Davis Andrews, one of the most coveted safeties in the West. Davis, congratulations on your big day. Who do you have there next to you, and what's this process been like for you? Uh, yeah, thanks for having us out. I got my my sisters, my mom, and my dad out here with me. and I mean, it's a pretty exciting day, and I'm ready for it. You've got a big crowd over at American Fork, a, a community that has been supporting you. What has this process been like for you as you've gone through some of these official visits and gotten some offers from schools everywhere across the country? Uh, you know, this process has been kind of crazy. I mean, I would have never expected any of this. Like when I was eighth grade, growing up a baseball player. And I mean, it's been crazy. I mean, the people that I've met throughout this whole process is absolutely insane. And the re relationships I've made during this has been like one of a kind. And I mean, I'm just so grateful and like very blessed to like even be able to have all this. So it's been, it's been very fun in the opportunities that have came from it. A baseball player can play some safety. You're doing some wide receiver over at American Fork as well. Uh, for you specifically, when you go out to some of these schools, you've been to some games, you've been to some visits, what are some things that you've been looking for when you think about and, and when you start considering these schools? Uh, you know, the biggest thing for me is just being comfortable where I'm at. And I think all these schools up here, you can tell, have been, I mean, they all have great culture and I mean, they have family environments and that's what it really comes down to is where I'll be comfortable and where I'll be comfortable if I'm playing and if I'm injured. And I think that's just a huge thing for me. And I think all these schools are really great environments and just mostly culture has been a huge thing for me. You've got a couple helmets on the table. You've got four hats as well. Utah, UCLA, BYU, and Notre Dame. Davis, the floor is yours. Make your commitment. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, and before I make my commitment, I mean, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. I mean, I didn't expect this big of a crowd. And, I mean, I want to thank my Heavenly Father for, I mean, even giving me all this. I mean, it can be all taken away just like that. And so, I mean, before I make this commitment, I want to bring out my loyal companion who's always been by my side um, to help me make this decision. And so my dog, Buddy, will be coming out to help me. We've got a dog in the house. Davis Andrews has just announced his commitment to the Utah Utes with the help of his buddy there. Uh, what's, what's this moment like for you right now, Davis, just knowing that you're headed to play down the street in Salt Lake City? Uh, I mean, it's very special. I mean, knowing growing up a Utah fan, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just awesome. I'm just ready to be playing in front of, I mean, all my friends and family, and I think it'll, it'll be awesome. So I'm just excited to be done and be able to know where I'm going. You were living a college football fan's dream, picking off some schools from the bucket list. Now, I know you went out to Utah for the Florida game. You went out, obviously, to Notre Dame for the Ohio State game as well. What did you learn about the Utes when they faced off against that SEC opponent to kick off the season? Uh, I mean, going out to the Utah-Florida game, I mean, it's just awesome. Utah always brings it. I mean, I think they're always an the underrated team going into games, and You've seen it the past few years being Pac-12 championships. I mean, Utah's just a hard-nosed team, and they work. And, I mean, they, they, they're they the best developing program in the nation, I think, and that's why I want to be there. And so, and that's why I made my decision to go to Utah. You've talked in the past about being a childhood favorite program, right, a school that you had dreamed about going to, season ticket holders, going into Rice-Eccles Stadium. How do you think that's going to feel when you're running out of the tunnel wearing the red? I mean, it's going to be surreal. I mean, I just remember being an eight-year-old watching Utah play BYU at Taysom Hill and booing like the Cougs. But I mean, all respect to them. But I mean, it's just going to be surreal, and it's going to be awesome to be running out with the Utah helmet, and Utah jersey in front of, I mean, everyone and all the fans in my hometown. So it'll be it'll be a, a surreal experience to walk out in a Utah jersey. 
and Utah fans will have to wait a couple years. You are planning to go on a church mission immediately after high school. You would be returning to campus in time for the 2026 season. What has the conversations been like with the coaching staff there about that process and how they plan to get you ready for when you do arrive on campus eventually? You know, that was a big part of my decision. I mean, serving a two-year mission is going to be really hard. I mean, um, Utah's really good at having coming home return missionaries. And so that was a big part of it. And I mean, I know taking two years to be serving my Lord is going to be kind of hard, but it's going to be, I mean, I think the best growing experience for me. And even though I have to wait two years to play at Utah, it's going to be awesome. And I mean, they were supportive of it the whole time. And I mean, it was a big decision for me. So that helped a lot. A program that's coming off back-to-back Pac-12 championships, back-to-back appearances in the Rose Bowl game as well, headed to the Big 12 next year. What's the message for the Utah fans that are watching about the type of player that eventually gets to Salt Lake City? Um, I mean, the type of player I am, I mean, I mean, that was also a big thing for me is knowing that I want to be as good as I can just for myself, but I also want to be as good as I can for Utah. And I think that'll push me because I care about the fans and I care about the team just as much as I care about myself being there. And I think that's a huge thing is to push me to be good for Utah. And so, I mean, I'm just excited to get get out in front of the fans. So it'll be exciting. A big moment for Davis Andrews, the safety from American Fork, staying home and playing his college football for the Utah Utes. Congratulations, Davis. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Enjoy the night. It's going to be a, a night of celebration, obviously, not only for Davis Andrews, but for that Utah fan base. This is a player who has all the skills to be able to contribute when he does return from that mission. A versatile defender can play some safety in the back half of that secondary. Uh, he mentioned that baseball background. He it does look like a center fielder back there scanning the field, reacting to the quarterback, closing really quickly on the football. I I love his instincts. I love the ability to go up closer to the line of scrimmage. And also in the box, there had been some schools that had talked to Davis Andrews about potentially being a linebacker, depending on how he fills out physically once he does return from that two-year church mission. And for the Utes, it's a huge, huge pickup. Uh, Another one in state, four out of the top six in this class in 2024 are now headed to play for the Utah Utes. Isaiah Garcia, Isaac Wilson, and Cash Dillon joining Davis Andrews there in that 2024 class. And they they might not be done. They are right now in the bottom half of the Big 12 recruiting rankings, but they are in the top five in terms of average rating per commit. So Utah taking uh, the low quantity, but the quality is there. And Davis Andrews adds to a star-studded class for Kyle Whittingham. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel if you like this. And if you want to keep uh, up to date and keep up with all these live announcements that we're doing here on the channel. So that'll do it for us. Davis Andrews headed to play his college football for the Utah Utes.